All right, guys, this is Claude Boosie, and I just want to shoot a quick video here explaining a situation that I had with my Campbell Housefield uh, four in one nailing gun kit. All right, so we got a kit lent to us recently. From somebody who had actually purchased it when it was on special and never actually used it so there's the two other guns that I've taken apart and uh, fixed the other ones in the garage as we speak it's been fixed and it works and this is the last one that I'm working on now these uh, these nailers these air guns uh, well they work on air anyway not air guns but they're uh, air nailers they're pretty much all the same you know you have your uh, rear uh, exhaust cover they call it and that just comes off by loosening these four bolts with an allen key and so uh, I had a problem with one of the nailer guns the biggest one that fires the two and a half inch finishing nails and like I said this kit was brand new but uh, after nailing two or three nails uh, with the, the right amount of pressure and everything was okay the gun stopped working the gun was just um, what we call dry firing it was simply letting the air through you pull the trigger and you could hear the air going through the gun it was just letting out the you know a, a dry air sound like tsh, tsh, but not actually firing the nail like you know you want it to so I called Campbell Housefield for the solution and explained the problem so this will be probably be the typical situation if you've uh, if you own one of these guns uh, one of these nailing guns and it hasn't seen much use and you're trying to use it and it's dry firing like mine was Actually, it's not even mine. It belongs to somebody who lent it to me and uh, and didn't work uh, because they never actually used it. So uh, what they explained to me is since it's been sitting on the shelf for so long without being used, the lubrication that's in the gun has uh, has dried up and that it has. I can I can attest to that. If you look down into the back here you can see that the oil that was once in liquid state has turned to a petroleum jelly and that is not good enough for lubricating and creating the proper seal that you need on these uh, nailing guns so what's your solution very simple you're going to pick up a bottle of 30 weight non-detergent lubrication 30 weight non-detergent oil like this castrol that I picked up at the co-op and uh, you're gonna lubricate all the parts of the gun you simply take off all the parts take them out one by one be careful what order they come out you got to be able to put it back together if you're not mechanically inclined or if you've never taken one of these apart there are quite a few parts and they're pretty much all the same you know you have your rear exhaust uh, cover plate and there's this uh, this spring-loaded um, I don't even know what you call it it's a spring-loaded piston that simply pushes back on the actual piston itself when it fires back and so this will usually contain anywhere from one to three or four o-rings which need to be lubricated now i don't think you need to take them out i didn't take them out per se uh i simply oiled the heck out of all the parts you're going to put oil into the actual aluminum casing here you will lubricate that o-ring you'll lubricate these two o-rings you will seat that back in properly once that's done i switch hands here you're going to take the uh, the cylinder assembly out. Let's see if I can do this with just one hand. There we go. This one's easy to take out. Some are a little bit harder. And um, everything's got to be put back together the same way it is. Okay, now you have your 
you have that rod that sometimes has a groove on one side and you have to be careful to put that groove back in exactly the same position so all of that needs to be lubricated don't be afraid to use a lot of oil um, you can see that inside there you have your piston here we go I'm just pushing it out and sometimes you have a little cover here so it's tough to come out but in this case it's quite easy so make sure you lubricate that o-ring that's actually what creates the seal between your cylinder and your piston okay so you want to make sure that gets well lubricated with good fresh oil you want to lubricate that o-ring just might as well lubricate that uh, the, the outside of the cylinder as well and the inside of the uh, the metal casing of the gun as well and right down there you can probably see the um, rectangular slot where the uh, that rod will fit back in so just put a lot of oil in there uh, it's okay if you put everything back together and it's still dripping with oil that's what Campbell Housefield told me once you have it all back together go ahead and drop in 15 to 20 drops of 30 weight of the same 30 weight oil right down into the um, into the nipple of the of the mechanism put it all back together make sure all your screws are tight connect yourself to your compressor and you might want to cover your uh, cover the back of the gun with a rag because you're gonna have some oil flying out the back the first few times you fire it but that's gonna that's gonna fix your problem uh, all you need is a lot of oil to make sure it, everything is well lubricated and you got a good seal between your um, cylinder housing and the gun itself and I think the most important part is to make sure that you have a good ring of oil a good film of oil in the cylinder itself and this which is your piston ring it's actually an o-ring it's a rubber o-ring but you need a good uh, lubrication a good amount of lubrication there to make sure that you have a good seal and that your rubber o-ring will expand to the right size in order to fire the gun properly if you don't have that oil or if that oil is dried up chances are the air is just going to blow right by and create that dry sound the tsh, tsh, that that just you don't want you want to you want to have a good amount of pressure to fire your nail um, when you put the oil in here that'll help lubricate everything including your trigger there's a couple of o-rings internally I didn't take the trigger apart because it is brand new but lubricating the inside of the gun and then making sure that you got oil in there every time you use it will ensure that your trigger mechanism will always be properly lubricated so that's it for this video i just wanted to share my experience because uh, i had a little bit of a tough time and difficulty figuring out what was going on with these uh nailers they were brand new but didn't want to fire after a couple of nails and so i'm just going ahead and lubricating all three sorry all four of them to make sure that the next time we go to use them they'll be uh, they'll be in proper running order so that's it for now my name's been uh, my name is claude Busey, and uh, i hope you've had uh, a lot of uh, this has helped you out with your own problems if you like this video please hit the like button and uh, share any comments you may have with me below thanks a lot we'll speak to you in the next video bye bye